Hello, everyone. This is Jin, a TCM practitioner and instructor in Victoria, BC, Canada. Here is my online class for acupuncture case study. The book we use I put below. I help I can help the students study and review for the class. Okay, let's start. Okay, good. Okay, so Eon is named for this one. Eon is named. Yeah, Eon is named. Yeah. Yeah, palpation. Yeah, palpation and the tooth egg. Yeah. We can make a diagnosis for this one. So we say basically we try to use one diagnosis to cover all the symptoms. But truly, these patients they have two chief cavities: white palpation, white toothache, and they are not direct, directly relationship each other. So we can make a diagnosis for these patients: palpation and toothache. So the patterns, yeah, the patterns. Uh, Kin Yang deficiency, heart qi deficiency, and some of the fear evading the channel. Yeah, that's basically exactly the same on the book. Yeah. Location. A due to stomach heat. Uh, so, uh, hard young deficiency with stomach heat. Okay. Okay. So let's discuss here. Uh, for these patients, it's more hard yang deficiency or more pin yang deficiency here. Let's see the symptoms. So, long time palpitations, several years palpitations. So, we put a timeline here, few years, yeah, few years. And the toothache. Began with last week, yeah, one week. Yeah. So here is now. That's a few years. Yeah, few years. And the general constitution is weaker. So generally constitution is weaker. Can coming from qi deficiency, can coming from yang deficiency, can coming from yin deficiency, or maybe blood deficiency, maybe essence deficiency. Yeah. Just tell us it's the kind of deficiency case here. But we couldn't figure out what kind of deficiency. And the general latitude, that's usually qi deficiency. And the frequently so these for patients short of price does a T deficiency. And the last week that's from here, yeah, last week from here has dry mouth and the dry south. I, I, I forgot my last year. Last week, development the painful swollen gum. We say gums basically belong to stomach. Yeah. Uh, no, no bleeding. Basically, swollen, no bleeding. But painful radiate to the neck, 
is more severe, and the dry mouth dries out and discern to drink. So picture here together, we got uh, excisive heat symptom. Excisive heat in gums. So gums is the stomach channel there. So basically, if we're talking about the gas problem, we're thinking about the stomach. Some stomach heat maybe go to there. But food intake is normal. So if heat in the stomach organs, that's usually we're talking about stomach bear rushing up. But that kind of case, patient hungry loud and eating loud. So that means this kind of heat is, is in the stomach channel, not in the stomach organ. So that's uh, one week. Yeah, one week. Uh, this is no defense, no stool for three days. That's internal heat. Yeah, that's internal heat. <clears throat> Patient has chronic sensation. Okay, patient has chronic sensation of a low, of a cold and a pain in the lower back and the knee joints. So basically, that's the young different size. My mouse is not under my control here. <laughs> So young deficiency, especially on the lower part of the body, and the lower back is the kidney air and the knee joints belong to kidney and the liver also. So that's basically we think about this case is the kidney young deficiency. And the some T deficiency size with palpations, that's we talking about Heart cheese. So the pattern we put together, yeah, the pattern we put together here, we say, heart cheese. And deficiency and the local IR for gum problem is the heat in some channel. So that's in the book. Yeah, that's in the book. They put they put a stomach of heat rushing up first. I couldn't change the order here, but on the book, they, they put a heat rising up first. Some of the heat rising up first. And then they talking about heart T deficiency and the kidney young deficiency. I believe that because toothache is the acute problem, and the palpitation is a chronic problem. So chronic problems is uh, take some time, that will be difficult to treat the deficiency there. So acute problems is uh, that will be easy to treat. So that's why in the book they put uh, 
Actually, they put a stomach bear, but I like to use stomach heat because no bleeding there. Yeah, stomach heat rushing up go to the channels. So that's the part here. And still see the tongue and the pulse here. Pale tongue, they say pale tongue can come from yang diversity, can come from qi diversity, can come from blood diversity. Certainly, certainly for these patients, uh, it's mainly yang diversity and qi diversity. And with greasy tongue coating, so usually we talk about greasy tongue coating, uh, like uh, people have dampness or blood, they may have greasy tongue coating. But looking the old symptoms here, we don't have specially like a dampness or blood sign. So that kind of uh, which say body fluid disorder, it will come in from because lung, young diversity. Yeah, young diversity and even qi diversity can cause body fluid irritation, but because they don't have other symptoms, go to him. So we are not go to pattern diagnosis for blood or damage. And uh, for the pulse, yeah, for the pulse, so very pulse, we still say can come in from pain, can come in from phlegm or dampness. So this patient mainly coming from painful situation, also can come from liver. But uh, this patient, we don't see the signs coming from liver. So that's coming from the painful situation. because the gum pain, yeah. And the sleepy pulse, similar like a greasy tongue coating. So we're still thinking about it coming from yang deficiency. So that's basically for this pattern. Any more discuss for the pattern part or symptom here? It looks good here. So certainly, yeah, certainly, uh, heart qi deficiency and the king yang deficiency, that's the mainly reason cause the palpation. And the uh, heat rising up in the stomach channel, that's cause the toothache and the gun volume there. Okay, so treatment pistol. Yeah, treatment pistol. Yeah, nourishing, tonify, heart, warming, king, yang, stop palpitation, clear stomach heat. Yes. Yeah. Tonify, king, yang, tonify, heart, chi, stop palpitation. Clear stomach heat, stop toothache. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yes. Huh? <clears throat> so, like the older, we're talking about the pattern diagnosis here. Uh, toothache is acute problem. And we try to put our pattern, the order number one, for try to kill, treat the problems for a toothache. So when they put our treatment pencil, we still can put like a clear stomach heat, stop a toothache for the number one treatment pencil there. So I put the books, treatment pencil here. They use green, green stomach heat.
I say in the book they use the bear in there. But basically it's not a total big difference. Bear is a severe kind of heat. So maybe people's uh, idea a little bit different. With the fear rushing up, that's why in the book they use the fear. But also fear is a severe heat will damage blood vessels and cause bleeding. But for this case, yeah, will be bleeding with fear. Yeah, will be bleeding with fear. But in this case, they specially say no bleeding. Thus, I say you can use heat. Yeah, urolite, yeah, urolite, the gum will be bleeding. But this patient is no bleeding, means the heat is not that severe. That's why I use heat instead of fair. But that's a, not a lot of big difference, whatever heat or fair, yeah. still heat, yeah, still heat. So that's number one there. And then Tony by hard T. So still palpitation, more relationship to the heart. So we still put Tony by hard T first. So the third aspect is the yeah, third aspect. Uh, generally, we say we will tonify King Yang, but right now the patient have some heat in there, so we are not truly tonify King Yang until the heat symptom is resolved. So they say number three. So King Yang. Not treat, not to treat now until the heat symptom. Uh, so So that's the uh, what to say. Love yeah. But that's the same line. That's the same line. So that's the uh, dream stomach heat and the totally very hard cheese. And the King Yang now to treat right now until the heat symptoms are resolved. So that's the treatment principle. And then the points, yeah, then the points, what the points you know. Yeah, stomach 44, uh, I4, LI18, yeah, stomach 36, stomach 5, yes, yeah, stomach 7, uh, heart 7, heart 8, stomach 36, tooth, tooth 8, yeah, for stomach 6, I4, SI18, stomach 44, yes. Part seven, part party six, uh, then fourteen, bladder fifteen for the heart. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good points there. Yeah, yeah, good points there. Okay, I still put uh, the books points here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Stomach 44, LA 11, yeah, heart 7, bladder 23, B4. Yeah, like uh, our treatment principle said, right now we are not specially treat Kin Yang deficiency. We're leaving that to points later, like uh, stomach heat is clear. Then we go to bladder 23, B4. Yeah. Uh, yeah, for population, bladder 15, and then 14, card 7, card 6, but, uh, yeah, just the uh, kidney points we leave later, yeah, kidney points we leave later. Uh, stomach heat and completion, stomach 7, stomach 42, liver 3, and DL6. Bladder 25. Yeah, yeah. Generally, say your poise is pretty good, but we say our poise will match our treatment principle. Like we're talking about our treatment principle here. Number one, it's a draining stomach heat. Yeah, number one, it's draining stomach heat. So that's like we're talking about. We must be have some poise draining stomach heat here. So like uh, we have some stomach seven and some other stomach poise, like stomach 44, that's good for draining stomach heat. And then we have poise to totally have heart tea. So in the book, they use tarcard in six and then six. But the truly, like the back row of the bladder uh, of the heart still good, like bladder 15, and the other chi 25 points, like a stomach 36, still good, yeah. We just leave in the points, yeah. So like uh, here, these two go to the first uh, treatment principle, and these two, go to the second treatment principle, but certainly you can add in more points or changing some points for these two treatment principles. So paracarding six is working for the heart. Uh, so in the book, in the book, is uh, they talking about is a good points for regular heart cheese. And this dispersing the chi in the air of the chest is also coming the spirit. And uh, especially they, they use this yen stick together, writing regular heart chi and the promotion the chi. So that's why they use the heart heart in six, this in yen six in here. Yeah. Our computer with our file will be more indicated. Uh, so basically, we will thinking about what what caused the population. Yeah. So heart and the pericardium, they both working for the heart. Yeah. We can pick up the points from the heart channel and we can pick up the points on the pericardial channel. Uh, yeah, yeah, pericardial stick to have a short breath, like uh, some pressure in the chest air, that's good for your pericardial instead of a 
hard. Yeah. But truly, we can use hard channel like uh, hard five, hard seven, and even by two points of the hard. Yeah. We can add in some points there. Yeah, that's the points. Yeah, that's points. Okay, that's for uh, this case. Any more discuss for this case? Jin, is yes. too thick um, the, the technical diagnosis? Like, it's not like some sort of obstruction there, right? So, this seems funny. <laughs> uh, what do you mean is the diagnosis? The unit name or pattern? Illness name, yeah. Like, oh, uh, unit name, J just the uh, chief comply. Yeah, palpitation and the toothache. Yeah, just the uh, chief comply. Isn't that always going to be the case? Uh, if not always, but the true palpitation is our uh, TCM in its name, and the toothache still a case, we say if we can cover with one with others, we just use one. But for this case, these two chief compliance totally different problems. We couldn't cover each other. That's why we put two in here. Okay. Yeah.